My question for you today, have you ever run out of places to plug in a USB cable on your PC? If the answer is yes, stick around and I'll show you the solution. Hello everybody, Sweet Tea Killer here. You're not going to see much of my beautiful face today. I'm going to be behind the camera because the main action is going to be going on right back there. So a few weeks ago, <clears throat> I realized that I had almost no USB ports to plug in and whether that was you know my keyboard my mouse um, sometimes I plug my phone in to transfer files over to my computer or other various devices so what I did was I looked on um, Amazon and I was looking I was actually thinking about buying a new motherboard I, I was getting to that point and I you know I was ready to spend the money to do it but um, I came across this nifty little device this is basically an extender card and it I'll put a link in the description below but this has uh, five on the front five USB B 3.0 ports on the front and two on the back it plugs into your PCIe which is right back there on your motherboard and you can plug it into the PCIe 1 or PCIe 4 which is all that I have back here that there there's the four and there's the one. So I wanted to show you guys how to install this because I've already installed it. Um, it's really easy and it works um, very well. Um, so uh, again, th this was about $26, $27. And if I don't run out of places to plug in things that run off of USB, then it's 100% worth it. So in the box, I have the box right here um, in the box you have a, uh, a very small disk that contains all of the drivers that you need but if you are running Windows 10 you do not need the drivers if you're running anything anything, bef anything before Windows 10 then you're gonna have to put it into your optical drive if you have one and use it that way um, it comes with screws which in this case are not necessary because we have the mounting screws back here because this is where you're gonna this is where you're gonna mount the card and it also comes with this in my personal opinion very ugly um, SATA um, power connection um, it run the, it's powered by SATA power and um, I have an extra SATA cable that came with my power supply and I'll scoop down real quick and it's plugged in right here so I don't need the the power the SATA power cable that came with it but some people may <clears throat> so um, it also comes with an instruction manual which is pretty self-explanatory and if you leave them a review then you and you know follow the instructions on this card they give you a $10 Amazon gift card so now that that's ev that's everything that comes in the box let's get down to it so like I said it goes back here to your expansion slots and initially I wanted to put it in the PCIe uh, one slot but after installing it and um, tightening it down lower you guys down here for a little bit um, it is really close to this fan for my GPU and my GPU is overclocked and so I don't want anything in impeding the air too much um, to prevent it cooling off so um, I decided to move it down to this PCIe uh, 4 slot here um, it'll plug into either one it works either way it doesn't really matter um, so the first thing you got to do is take off your expansion slot cover Move it out of the way And then take it and make sure that this side is facing up So you got to put it in just like that be very careful putting it in make sure you line up the 
make sure you line up the notch here on the card with the notch that is right there. And just slide it in. It goes in nice and easy. Now it's going to flex back just a little bit, but that's not big of a, that big of a deal because you're going to take the, the mounting screw and put it back on there. And it is a very good idea to use a magnetic screwdriver when do when working on stuff like this. That way the screws are much less likely to fall down where you can't get to them. And if they do, then you have a greater possibility of getting them back. Okay. So now, like I said, we need the SATA power and I have an extra cable left over that came with my power supply. And then you hook it up. I can't hardly see it because my hand's in the way of the light. And you're done. Um, one thing I should also mention, and it is in the instructions, um, whenever you're doing this, turn off your power supply or unplug it. It's very important because you don't want any, um, should you, you know, mess up, jerk, whatever, and uh, touch something and it short circuits, you don't want to damage anything. So it's a really good idea to make sure that you turn the power supply off. So now that our SATA power is hooked up, our screws are back in and it's in the PCI slot back here, we can turn it back on. And now I have here a, um, a USB power tester. It's one that I bought for uh, my job, but it turns out I'm gonna be using it I'm in, this, in this application. You can plug it in, um, regular USB, to make sure that there is actual uh, voltage to the USB. And if you wanna know how much it's drawing per device, plug your device in here using the charger um, cord. That can be your phone, uh, a controller, um, anything that runs off of USB power. So, we're gonna turn, turn the power supply back on and start her up. Okay, so as you can see, things are running. So we're going to zoom back in so we can see the tester and make sure that we get the right voltage. And by the way, I got this at Home Depot. It was 16 maybe $17. Um, really good tool to have if you uh, test USB ports a lot or have them, have them fail on you. And there it is, your uh, top number is your voltage and your bottom number is your amperage and we don't have anything plugged into the output, so the amperage is gonna be zero, but you have five volts going there. So those are the two on the inside. Um, we, we can test the other one, just to be sure. And again, we have 5.02 volts, which is exactly the same as the other one. And I'm going to move the camera and we're going to test the other one, or excuse me, uh, one or two on the back side of the PC, but I had to move the camera. Okay, here we are at the back of the PC. Make sure I have it oriented correctly. And look at it. And there it is, 5.02 volts, just like the other two that are on the inside. And test one more. And there we go. We are good to go there. So, this has been the installation of the 
let's see here, what's the brand name on this? It's the Tier Grade USB 3.0 PCIe card um, USB expansion. And um, if you like this video, um, obviously hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and make sure to turn on the or click the bell for the notifications. And I'll be I'll be bringing you guys more content soon. Thanks. Have a great day, and remember, be excellent to each other. Bye.